here in a town called Pisa. I know, it sounds like pizza and it's making me hungry because I haven't had dinner yet. I'm standing here beside no other than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This amazing structure was built as a bell tower behind the Pisa Cathedral. It's called the Tower of Pisa, but for obvious reasons, it's better known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Bell towers like these were erected for the main purpose of letting town people know when there's going to be a special event at the cathedral or in their community. Back in August of 1173, when they started construction of this tower, they didn't intend to get the results they did. However, when they got to the second floor, the workers realized that this structure was starting to sink into the ground because the tower was being built on a really soft surface. In fact, in Greek, Pisa means marshy land, and this whole land used to be a marshy swamp. So you can imagine when the weight started collecting on the surface of the ground, it started sinking in on one side. Well, that didn't stop the construction of this tower. Construction workers over the next 200 years continued working on this tower, trying to figure out how they can complete it without it falling over. And finally, in 1372, some 200 years later, they completed the project by adding the bell tower to the very top. And the bell tower consists of seven bells, one for each note of the musical major scale. So for 800 years following the completion of the tower, it continued to lean at the rate of one to two millimeters a year. Now, one to two millimeters a year isn't much, but when that stretches over hundreds of years, this is what happened. It wasn't until 2008 when it was announced that the tower had finally stopped moving for the first time in history. However, with all the efforts to straighten this tower out, it still remains tilted at about 16 feet perpendicular. Now, interestingly enough, despite the problems and instability with this tower, it has withstood the test of time, making it through a war, in many natural disasters, including four earthquakes. But guess what? It's still standing. Here's some fun facts. In one attempt to fix the lean of the tower by adding more layers, they messed up its gravity center, and instead of fixing the problem, the tower began to lean south instead of north. And during World War II, when American troops arrived here, they were ordered to destroy all structures that could serve as hiding places for the enemy, and this tower was one of them. Luckily, a retreat took place just after the orders came out. Others say soldiers just didn't have the heart to tear it down. But guess what? Still standing. Some say it's miraculous. Although this tower was closed to the public for several years because of its instability, it's now open again. So, to get to the top of this leaning tower, you have to walk 294 steps up a spiral staircase to the bells. And although the bells haven't rung since the last century, because experts felt the vibration could cause the tower to become more unstable, I'm still going to take the 294 step adventure all the way to the top. They say you can see forever. I'm gonna give you one more super cool fact before I head to the top. In a scene from the 1983 Superman movie, Superman tries to straighten the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I haven't seen the movie myself, so I don't know if he had success in straightening the tower, but considering it's still leaning, I'd say not even Superman could straighten this tower. All right, I'm gonna do it. Super duper leg workout today. I'm gonna to climb the 294 steps to the top of this tower. I'll give you some pictures from the top. I hope you have a great day. So glad you tuned in to my Leaning Tower of Pisa trip in Italy. I'm gonna take the 294 steps all the way to the top to see those bells. All right, see you next time from somewhere in the world. <laughs>